Hello, my philosophers, and welcome now to Wednesday. Well, I think the next couple of days for the Sagittarius may be a bit overcast, and there's a definite chance of that Sagittarius mopiness. You know what I'm talking about. It's always a surprise to someone who's friends with Sagittariuses that with that bright happiness, there's also this side of you that gets really mopey. That's because the moon is in Scorpio, putting emotional focus on your karma. Now, I don't think the universe wants you to feel bad. I think the universe ultimately is just putting focus on some of your more basement issues. Now, if you're a person that meditates or you're on top of what's going on in your spiritual life and you're seeing the themes everywhere, then this is a time really where you are elevated naturally. It's a good meditation time and you get answers if you focus. The universe is helping you by giving you kind of a knee up to your higher self. On the other hand, if you're a person that's just ignoring it out there, doing the Sagittarius party thing, not paying attention, well, that's a time where you could trip over something and fall, find yourself mopey because something bad happened, when in reality it's part of your pattern. That's what always happens when you ignore life. You see what I'm saying? The universe is kind of ironic sometimes. Either way, for the next couple of days, your heart is really focused on your deeper spiritual self. But there's a lot of good things about to happen, Sag, regardless of how you're feeling. Your ruling planet, Jupiter, has moved well into Capricorn now, which means you're about to have one year of good luck when it comes to self-esteem and it comes to making money. And that works in both areas. You gotta have a lot of self-esteem to get in front of that boss and say you deserve whatever it is a week, and then it turns into money. The two go hand in hand. So you're gonna be naturally confident for one year. Okay, that's what Jupiter will do for you. And from that confidence, you can leverage it into anything you want of value on the planet. This is the spectrum of light casting. And you're beginning to learn now how to pick up the wand and use magic, so to speak, with your new belief structure you just spent 12 years redesigning. Now, the only thing holding you back, I gotta tell you, Mars retrograde for three weeks, which is gonna be asking Sagittarius's to remarry, to maybe redo something with an old partner, maybe to redo an activity for a partner you used to do. Something about going back just a little bit with marriages before slingshotting forward late January. All right, Sag, that's all we have for the day. See you tomorrow with more. Live, love, be. So <laughs>